This is the examination of the hidden human condition. You're listening to the Hidden Killers Podcast. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. That it is. We are taking your calls, your opinions in open lines right now. If you have something you want to say about any of the cases we're following for you, you can do it. 888-5-KILLER. 888-554-5537. The phone number to call and share your opinion on anything from... Uh, Alec Murdaugh to Brian Walsh, Koberger, Ellen Greenberg, Gabby Petito, James Craig, Jared Brightigan, Lori Vallow, Lucy Letby, Stephen Smith. Lots of people. Lots of people that we're talking about here uh, on uh, on the program. Uh, Stacey Cole with us uh, today on this. Let's uh, jump over to our first phone call. And uh, this is someone who has an interesting theory or observation if they will and we're going to go back and and see if we can recognize what they're talking about after the phone call they think there's more to the alec murdaugh dog video that mm. really damned him uh than others have uh, have been hearing let's take a listen hi hey tony it's lisa from rockland county how are you yeah i gotta weigh in now people need to hear this but first my heart goes out to the Idaho students, their family, and everybody rocked by that case. That was just awful. Lori Daybell, please, please, you got to stop talking about her and your little mini podcast because boring, boring story. She was a prophet of nothing. She was a prophet of the devil like the baby-killing nurse. Well, I'm going to say we're going to keep talking about her. Uh, so sorry if you don't like okay. that. You can always fast forward. Uh, but uh, no, it's big deal right now with her trial going on. We're covering it. We have someone on the ground reporting from the courthouse. So no, yeah. <laughs> we're going to keep covering Lori Daybell. Continue on, though. They're both pro- uh, prophets of the devil. And let me tell you something. Alec Murdoch, only prophet, is he profited from his friends and his family that he stole from. Don't know what's up with the killing, but I will say this. They didn't deserve to die. Paul, Timmy, yeah, asshole kind of guy. But you know what? He didn't deserve to die with his brains being blown out by his dad or someone close to his dad. Now, we've all listened to that Snapchat video for one minute with the dogs in the kennel. I was listening to it one night, not watching it, just with my earphones. So, we all know it starts with cash, cash, quit it, cash. And then you hear some talking in the background. Now, we all know Paul was right on top of his phone trying to get Cash's attention. Maggie was, let's say, in the middle of Paul and Alec, and Alec was the furthest away. So, you hear cash, cash, quit it, quit it, quit it, and some rumbling. Then you hear Maggie scream about the dog has a bird. And then you hear um, Paul say, it's a chicken. Also, listen right after Paul says it's a chicken, because you hear another voice, who I don't believe is Alex, another male voice that says, it's a chicken. Then you hear Alex scream, Mama, come here, Mama! And then right after he says that twice, you hear another softer-spoken gentleman say, Come here, Baba." And also, when Maggie calls out for that bird, to me, it sounds a lot like she says, Eddie, he's got a bird! Have a great day, guys. Make it great. Make it good for somebody else, too. Pay it forward. Love the podcast, and I will be a return caller. Thanks. Uh, okay, let's take a listen to that video uh, and see okay. if we can pick up what she's talking about. And I, I get it, where she's like, you know, I'm listening on on uh, you know headphones only, and and you can pick up things a little bit different that way, yeah, yeah. just as you're listening to this podcast. So let's uh, let's take a listen and see. Uh, get your opinion. Get it. Get back. So that's Paul. Quit, Cash. Paul again. Quit. 
It's okay. Oh. Come here. Not bad. Come here, Dad. Shit. Come here. Post it. Get it. Hey, he's got a bird in his mouth. Blah, blah. Okay, so I hear what she says. It sounds like Eddie, he's got a bird in his mouth. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. I kind of hear that. I also hear, hey, he's got a bird in his mouth. I hear, hey, not necessarily Eddie. Bird in his mouth. Go back. Hey, he's got a bird in his mouth. It's hey. It's hey with an accent, isn't it? Hey. Hey, he's got a bird in his mouth. You know how the hey can turn into two syllables instead of one? That's what it is. That's and Baba. That's Alec. Baba. That's Paul. That's a guinea. That's a Maggie. It's a guinea, like a guinea hen. Come here, Baba. Come here, Baba. Come here, Baba. Quick. I only hear three voices. I hear Alec, I hear Paul, and I hear Maggie. There's no third or fourth voice. I, one of them, there's times where one's talking to the dog in like dog tone. Like, well, hey! yeah, and people talk to yeah. animals in different tones, and you then, know. And then the tone changes a little bit because of the interaction with the dog. So I get if you're not watching it, um, I, I get how one could hear that, but I, that was never brought up in court as a uh, possibility. I don't hear it. I, I don't. I, I just think it's, you know, when you get something in your head, when you're listening to audio, it's hard to unhear it, even if it's not accurate. Um, yeah. And the same is true of um, anything. When you're hearing something that's kind of inaudible, whether it be uh, like in the ghost world, there's the EVPs and one person says, it says, uh, you know, uh, mother, mama loves you. And the other person's like, you know, it, it's, it's, it's saying that she hates you or whatever. I mean, it, it's something where it's all, it's interesting how our brains interpret things. And once you hear it once and your brain said, this is what it is, it's really hard to hear it the other way. Yeah, you can't unhear it in your head. So I don't think there's much to that theory, but you know, I, I love hearing it. I love that people weighing in because sometimes things are brought to you and you go, I didn't think of it that way. Mm-hmm. And that's Absolutely. how we learn. So appreciate the insight and the thoughts on that. Uh, and with any, as with anything with this case, Nothing surprises me as uh, we keep digging deeper and deeper into it. And there's, I'm not trying to make a pun because that's literally what's been going on lately with Stephen Smith, be the body being exhumed uh, recently, yeah. the second autopsy being performed. We'll find out the results of that very soon. Uh, and there's a $35,000 reward out for any information leading to uh, information on who killed Stephen Smith right now. Uh, so that's continuing to develop. Not saying it's any Murdoch's by any means, but, you know, there's certainly uh, the way that this was all brought back into life with Stephen Smith was something through the the Murdoch trial or through the Murdoch investigation. Whether that means a Murdoch was involved is a whole other thing. Uh, It it could be that there was information, digital information or something of that nature that pointed to more information on uh, the murder of Stephen Smith, but not even necessarily an individual within that family. It could just be, you know, rumblings or knowledge or, um, you know, rumors, things. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but there was something enough to dig it back up. I think it's something we'll find out shortly. Uh, Absolutely. But- and and going back to Lori Daybell and, and that whole thing, like you said, that that's just, that's getting going now. So mm-hmm. um, definitely have to be talking about that one. Yeah. I mean, is she a horrible person? Um I don't think Lori ever professed to be a prophet of anything. It was more Chad that professed to be the prophet uh, and knew certain information. She went along for the ride on a lot of it. Um, mm-hmm. But but how involved was she with the murders? I don't know. She may have been very involved. Uh, that's Those are things that we are going to find out uh, as that trial continues. And we, of course, have continuing coverage for you right here every single day. Courtroom audio, once the trial starts, uh, we have our, our correspondent, Lauren Mathias, uh, from the podcast Hidden True Crime on the ground, uh, reporting for us every single day, giving us updates uh, midway through the day when they break for lunch and then uh, at the end of the day as well uh, to hear exactly what's going on in court. As of right now, jury selection still going on, uh, but that should hopefully be wrapping up soon and we'll be getting uh, into the beef of what that trial is like. It's exciting stuff. Uh, but if you have an opinion, uh, insight, anything you want to share about any of the cases, 
You can do it. The phone number is 8885-KILLER. That's 888-554-5537. This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast. With Tony Bruschi. We would love to hear from you. Subscribe wherever you download podcasts. Get an ad-free version through Apple Podcasts right now. Even try it for three days free. Get access to all of our true crime channels when you sign up there. For Stacy, I'm Tony. Stay with us.